Hey guys, in today's video, I'm going to be showing you the most important key to TIG welding. This will work for steel and aluminum, but I'm using aluminum in this. I'm also going to show you two of the most common mistakes that people make, and I'll show them side by side so you can see the difference. Here I'm just waiting for the puddle to drop into the root of the joint. This is 3 16th inch material, so I have the pedal pin to 220 amps to start off with. Notice how I back into the end of my last weld to make sure it soaks up the end point and any possible crater or crack that got left behind there. As I continue forward, I'm watching the root and making sure that it's soaking in there before I'm adding filler. When you're starting out, a good method to use to judge how hot you need it is um, just lift off the pedal slowly until the puddle stops flowing into the root. And then you just add a few amps until it starts flowing down in there. And um, that's a good way to tell if you're in the right heat point. You can see the weld looks good. There's even spacing, even bead width. When you get all your details right, it becomes very easy to get a good looking weld on aluminum. Here I'm showing you what it looks like when you're not adding enough heat. So I'm going to pause it here. Okay, so on the right is the weld with not enough heat, and on the left is the last weld with the right amount of heat. You can see how on the left how it's flowing smoothly in the root, and I don't have to fight the uh, puddle as I move. On the right you can see how the puddle is bridging over the root and leaving like a half moon shape. That means you're not getting root penetration, it's actually just bridging across. Here's the weld with not enough heat. You can see towards the end it started looking all right, but there's no root penetration in on this one. And that's what's scary with aluminum is even though it looks good, it might not be penetrated all the way through. On this one, I'm showing what a long arc looks like and sounds like. Now I'm going to put the long arc on the right and on the left is the normal one with the tight arc and the right heat. The arc length is probably about 3 8 to half an inch. It doesn't look like it, but it was. Even though the part is heated up already from being welded on on the other sides, I'm still on full pedal because my tungsten is so far away and you can see it's still bridging from one side to the other and I have to force the puddle forward by adding filler. Notice how loud the arc is. Now this weld's deceiving because it looks like it's a good uniform weld, but if you look close you can see the root isn't penetrated on the end. It probably has a small cave that runs all the way back to the start of the weld, and if you're doing something important like a tank, that's where you're going to have leaks coming through them, and then it's going to find its way out, probably on the crater, and all that pressure in a tank will slowly over time build up and crack out that weld. Well guys, that does it for today's video. Hopefully this video helped you and can help you in your TIG welding. If it did, give me a thumbs up. Subscribe if you're not. Hit that bell so you know every time I put one up. Follow me on Instagram at Fifth Street Fab, especially if you like aluminum stuff. And don't forget to check out some of my other videos. Alright guys, have a good one.